now we're going to get to the top area. We're going to blend our top with our sides and our back using shears. Now what we're going to do first, we're going to saturate the hair with Jatai International. They have a wonderful product called Blade Glide. It's a hair cutting and shaving lotion. So we're first we're going to spray the hair down with that and then we will create our parts and we're going to pick up our shears and go from there. As I'm saturating the hair, I'm just combing through to make sure to get the uh, blade glide lotion all the way through the hair. When you're working with this type of hair, working with blade glide, you're going to have a lot more control over the hair as you perform your scissor cut. And I like to start this type of haircut with a mohawk parting, so to speak. You find the center. We're going right down the center and we're going to create a slight mohawk. And that's going to be our first guideline. Okay. Once you establish that first guideline, you bring each parting up to that guideline. That's our basic mohawk right there, and that's how our guideline. We're going to establish our guideline right down the center first, and then we're going to bring each section up to that middle guideline on the right side and on the left side. Okay, now I'm going to establish my guideline using my feather switchblade shears. These are a wonderful pair of shears, and I like a longer shear, so I'm going to use a seven and a half feather switchblade shear. They call them switchblade shears because you actually can change the blades out. You don't have to send your shears in to get sharpened. You actually have replacement blades for your shears. So great pair of shears. Here we go. We're going to get our guideline started. I'm starting in the front and I'm going to angle. As they teach us in school, not cutting past that knuckle, that second knuckle. Establish my first guideline. Keeping my Jatai International comb in my hand. As they teach us in school. best not to cut past that second knuckle. Okay. Now I have my basic guideline. And the angle will be just like that. Once we dry the hair, the hairstyle will be just like that. Longer in the front and shorter in the back. So now I'm going to bring up my next section. Small partings so you can see your guideline through the hair. This is where barbers and stylists have the least amount of patience. And right there is my guideline, right through there. Not cutting past that second knuckle. Take your time, make sure you pull in that guideline from your previous section. There's the shorter hair from your guideline. And then just work your way back.
this this feather switchblade shear is a very moderately priced professional shear it is a very good shear now I can take a little bit of my first guideline out because my other section that I have cut after the first guideline is floating with me okay there it is you see the angle just cut See your guide right through there, and don't cut past that second knuckle. And they tell us not to cut past that second knuckle. Number one, we don't have any tension past that second knuckle, and you want to have as much tension on the hair as possible. And aside from that, if you cut past that second knuckle, you can cut yourself. So you want to minimize those nicks. Okay, right there is our angle. section and take a little bit out of the section that you've just cut so you can see through there so you can see your guideline take some of that out bring that last section in over there not going to cut past that second knuckle see the angle See exactly what you need to cut there. Okay. Right. Now we're going to bring that section side in. We're going to bring the left side into the mohawk area that we've established our center guideline, which is once you establish that center guideline, you can float to the right, then you can float to the left. So now we're going to float to the left. And using my switchblade shear, which comes in a variety of sizes, from a four and a half all the way to a seven and a half inch shear. Okay, and they call it a switch blade because you can switch the blades out. They come with changeable blades so you don't have to send your shears in to be sharpened and be without your shears for a week, two, however long it may take. And on your switchblade shears, the frame has a lifetime guarantee. With the hairstyles these days, you have to be well versed in all hair types. And you have to have the type of products and equipment that can handle all hair types. Now we can do a quick cross check just to make sure everything is in line and going to work out when we blow dry and style this hair. Cross check just going the opposite way. 
that your original partings were. Taking out anything that's just that you can see that's slightly out of whack. Looks pretty good here. Keeping the hair saturated with your blade glide for control. 